you guys, I had found a lump in my breast um, the week of my birthday, back in February. Um, so, kind of stressed me out a little bit uh, because the doctor was super concerned um, and scheduled me for uh, ultrasound, a mammogram, a diagnostic mammogram, and then I, a consult with a breast surgeon. She, my doctor was really, really cautious, but she was really, she was concerned. And I really thought she would be like, it's just a cyst, you know, you know, whatever. No, she, she was like, yeah, we definitely need to do a very quick follow-up and her the doctor's nurse came out and was like oh my god it, don't worry have a good time this weekend um don't if if I was if anyone in my family had cancer I would send them to the doctors you're gonna go to and I'm just like holy cow like what's happening <laughs> but it ended up being fantastic my my the radiologist um actually came out and talked to me when I had my ultrasound and my diagnostics and said that they thought it was debris from my surgery actually that they did not suspect it was cancer um, but you know they definitely wanted to follow up in six months to see if there was any change in it well I went to this breast surgeon today and she was so great I loved her so much I I'm just kicking myself that I didn't use her for my initial surgery I don't know why her name when I did all the research her name didn't come up for me I don't know if I wasn't looking in the right place or what or maybe it came up and I just didn't see anything I just it's a shame because I would have loved to she actually said that she could actually lift me again probably and give me a little bit more of the um, fullness that I'm looking for maybe one day but she's a runner too and uh, I, I, she wants to do a, um, a three-month follow-up ultrasound and um, three-month follow-up ultrasound and then a core biopsy where they actually take out some of the tissue and just to confirm so super cautious but everything she said looks really good she you know walked me through all my scans and she she was just so great and just really really hope she just sat there and talked to me the whole you know just it was wonderful so my girlfriend Katie wants to have a reduction and I, I said you gotta go to her you gotta go get a consult with this lady because she's just so great so I'm gonna I'm gonna be going back next week um, and then three months and then um, she said I don't have any downtime for my uh, races so I want to get those scheduled now so anyways feeling great feeling much better I actually went home and I hooped huge a huge 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 boot and now my stomach feels better last night um, the fast went fine yesterday I was so I have all this pain in my face from uh, my dental he injected into my jaw and that really hurts it is the my most backed tooth so lots of you know holding your mouth open and stuff so I'm gonna take some Advil uh, I meant to bring some to work but um The fast went fine. I was in a lot of pain, but I was super busy. Like I didn't get to work till noon. After I work, I went and got COVID tested super fast. <laughs> um, came home, had to take Maddie to ballet, finish laundry, do Spanish. Um, I had Tate had some homework uh, Friday. The marking period ends, which I'm so grateful. It's a fresh start for him. Um, I think he's gonna do mostly B's. There might be a C in science, which just pisses me off. <laughs> I know there's some new people here. Caroline, she's trying to get, give me love, but I'm good. Girl, I'm good. Yeah, I'm getting getting hate here for like the last two weeks, I'd say. Um, 
but I'm good. I feel good. I, I've been reading my book, The Bait of Satan, with Caroline and Fastening My Way to Jen. And um, I'm good. Like, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I don't know if I'm evolving or if it's just hormonal cycles. Like, two weeks ago, it really bothered me. People really bothered me. And now I'm just like, whatever. <laughs> you know? I'm not, I'm not on here, I'm really not on here for anybody but myself, just staying accountable. Do you think, and Caroline said it to me yesterday, do you think anybody wants to get up here and say they gained 14 pounds on vacation? But it is what it is, man. That's what happened. <laughs> and, I don't know, I just had a built bar because what I was going to get ready to say is, um, last night, I went to go lay down. It was like 9.30. I was tired. And um, I was having really, really bad acid indigestion. Really bad. I ended up taking Alka-Seltzer. And I ended up taking it four times last night. It hurt so bad. I don't know. Like, um, I know somebody knew. Darlene, maybe? Mentioned something about, you know, um acid reflux and sometimes it can be silent and for for me I definitely have seen acid reflux problems when I fast um, I, which I always thought is so strange it's like you're getting the acid reflux actually from the acid in your stomach versus like um, you know food being in there and keeping it down it, I always thought it was nuts I'm like why you get heartburn when <laughs> you don't eat anything but I I made it through the night. I slept better, not great. Um, I was up a couple times to pee, but I dropped almost seven pounds. I knew I had a ton of fluid on me, and I, I probably still have some, and I mean, a massive poop for me. <laughs> it was great. So I'm really having a good morning. <laughs> um, and I get to eat today, and. I, uh, which I'm a little like, ugh. I didn't, I, yesterday I should have prepared something to make for dinner tonight because I have no plans. Like, I have nothing. I have stuff in the freezer, but I, I meant to take a look at it and pull it out. But I also don't really have, like, I have a meatloaf in there and that's going to take like an hour to cook and I don't want that, you know. So, I might be going... <laughs> Just picking up another chicken is so easy. And Tate ate it. Maybe I'll get two chickens. Tate ate it with the macaroni and cheese, and um, so did Maddie. So if I get two chickens, then Derek and I can have, you know, and the kids can have. It's just easy. Otherwise, we're gonna have to pick something up, and then I'll then I will get off plan. I know I will. I really don't want red meat tonight. I want white meat. Because I feel, I feel like I'm coming back, you know, like it's, like I'm, I'm almost rested enough. My house is almost clean enough, you know, just, uh, and I, Tate, I ordered Tate a new bedroom set and it's supposed to be here today. So I know that's going to be a lot of work, but I'm doing good. I'm doing really, really good guys. And I'm excited. I get to go to yoga tonight. Um, did I tell you they canceled for this weekend? They have lots of teacher stuff and that's kind of been getting on my nerves. Um, two, one or two times a month they cancel the weekend classes because of teacher training which is annoying to me so I won't have um, Tate has basketball on Saturday so I don't know I do want to start running two 5k's I don't know a week so. but I'm doing good getting back on track and I will check in with you guys Tuesday again, I just realized I'm wearing the same shirt. I did wash it because I was super sweaty and gross. Today was a new teacher. She was kind of like low key, but hard. <laughs> she was like, um, just kept putting you back in uh, high plank to do chaturanga over and over and over. So my arms are screaming. Um, her mantra 
was you can either be a, a spectator or a participant in life. Um, she talked about our daughter's eating disorder and that she was a spectator in life instead of actually doing things because it's kind of sad. Um, but I was listening at the end, I was listening to the song and I don't know what the song was, but in the lyrics I heard them say, and I'm sure it's because of the bait of Satan that I picked this up, it said, betrayal had to start with trust. Caroline, <laughs> you only can be betrayed by someone you care about. That damn book is everywhere. <laughs> Holy cow, I'm sweaty, guys. I feel pretty good. Daniel just commented something. <laughs> um, he's a badass. Daniel, if you don't know, check out my comments. He's a badass. He's like doing a 21 day fast right now. That's badass, man. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do get this po blueberry pomegranate. I think what I decided, um, I haven't heard from Fasting My Way to Jen since Tuesday, so I'm a little worried about her. So I've been trying to reach out. I hope you're okay, Jen, if you're watching this. Um, praying for you. I think what I'm gonna do, I believe Tracy and Eileen are both doing a long fast to end of the month. I think number of hours are probably variable, but it's nice to always do it with somebody else to lean on. I think what I'm gonna do, I know Eileen's starting Saturday after dinner. I'm starting Sunday after dinner. And I and she's gonna stop Wednesday night or evening or afternoon or whatever. And I'm just I'm gonna go to April first. I think that's a good way to end the month for me. So I will have to go to yoga once uh, fasted, but I proved to myself in this last long fast that I can do it. And that I should be able then to get off whatever, you know, I gain. This person thinks I'm nuts because I'm talking to myself. But yeah, guys, that's about it. Should be all caught up with my life and, um, everything that's going on and posting videos and everything tomorrow. I think I'll be all caught up tomorrow. So I think I'm, uh, I set for to do two, two today, two short ones today. And, um, you know, I'm so glad I lost so much weight yesterday. Um, I think I should still be able to lose some today too, since I pooped such a great poop. <laughs> Sorry if you're new. I talk about poop. I swear all the time. I have terrible road rage. Um, what else? Why watch me? Uh, I try real hard though. And if I say I'm going to do something, I usually do do it. So if that's what you're looking for, stick around. If not, just move along. <laughs> I don't need any hate. It's okay, guys. Oh, for real. For real. I'm good. I am good. I'll let you know if it gets to me. I know I have a private relationship with about 15, 15 of you, so I'm okay. I will reach out if I decide I'm just going to quit. My goal is to get to goal on YouTube. And then maybe weekly weigh-ins for a month or so of maintenance and then see where I'm at. Right? Feeling good. I always feel good after yoga, guys. I re highly recommend it. Hot yoga. It was hot as a bee in there because it's like 65, 68 degrees already outside. I bet summer is going to be brutal because it's already so hot and humid here in the summer so then they jack it up to 90 degrees and 85 percent humidity Whew. i'm dripping 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 but i did good I, did, I forgot to tell you on tuesday i 
attempted a few new things that I've never done before. I've never done a kick up to a, hand, a headstand, and I tried that, and um, I got the Birds of Paradise almost completely standing up. It's you wrap your arms around your inner leg from a from a lunge position, and then you get to a standing position with your leg teed out. Um, I think what I'm gonna do. Yoga got canceled for Saturday and Sunday. I told you guys that. So I think I'm gonna work on a few of the, I, I don't know how to do side curl, I've never tried it. So I'm gonna try to learn that. Oh no, my scar is peeling, I got burned. And now I'm peeling, darn it. Um, that's not good for my scar. I got burned when I was little. I had a third degree burn on my arm. Burnt. I got a little burnt in Florida <laughs> and now I'm starting to peel. <sighs> um, I think that's it, guys. I will check in them. Um, I, I got two rotisserie chickens and I think I'm just gonna um, make a low carb wrap. Call it a night. I'm not craving anything. I, you know, I'm, I'm hungry. I'll eat but I'm not terribly starving. I kind of want a barbecue chicken pizza, so I may, just may, depending if I have everything, I might throw a couple low-carb tortillas on a cookie sheet, sprinkle the chicken, a little bar uh, sugar-free barbecue sauce, and some cheese. Now I would like cilantro and gouda, but, you know, didn't really think it through. So I think that's maybe what I'll have. I will let you know. Probably a built bar. <laughs> Cookies and cream. Very good. Tastes like candy.